As a terminal rookie, I made a breakthrough here on the right, getting my context switch to work in the new fabric. And on the left, I've got a blog outlining those steps. So if you're comfortable in the terminal, like maybe you're one of the 5.8 thousand people that have starred this project in GitHub, probably this isn't a breakthrough for you. But for me, being brand new to the terminal and not knowing basic commands, when I saw this demo in Unsupervised Learning 420 saying, hey, there's a new feature called uh, the C switch where you can add your own personal context to fabric patterns. And here's a cool demo where Daniel Meisler has his mission, beliefs, and goals in a context file or a soul file. And then he's able to feed it to the AI pattern to get it to tell him how to accomplish his goals. So what strategies would you rec recommend for my mission and goals? Artificial intelligence says do S1 through S8. That is a very cool capability and case study in the potential benefits of digital assistance. So I'll walk you through my steps so you can do the same. I've got the context here. Maybe starting with why. Why should I care about this? Well, like just in general, as table stakes, we're hearing that AI is the new electricity. It's going to disrupt all industries. This is according to uh, Stanford in a really cool lecture. And then we've got this article on seven things to expect from AI in 2024 plus, which includes number one, the concept of digital assistance. And then I've got this picture here, organizing the 38 in a growing dynamic list uh, fabric patterns, according to the Forte Labs second brain stages in the creative process, capture, organize, distill, and express. All of these capabilities to augment your life can be informed by this context switch, this, the, the context MD file. So that's why it's a big deal to get this working, is that it can improve the output you get in all of these patterns. So the steps I followed. Step 1A, check if you have this new feature of the context switch, or if you need to upgrade your fabric to, to get it. So you go to the help menu, fabric-h, if you're already up and running. Here's a screenshot from me before I got it working, so this is you know yesterday or this morning, and there is no dash context, so I need to upgrade. I need to go to step 1B. So for 1B, install the latest Fabric client. On my Mac Mini, I made a new user called Sandbox1. I made a new folder called Day5 to put the source code in from GitHub. I went through the quick start instructions, and I have another video walking through those. One hiccup I ran into this morning but was able to overcome was in step 6. So in step six, you can see that it says you're supposed to run this command dot slash setup dot sh. And I ran into an error, command not found. So now what do I do? Well, I had a conversation with ChatGBT, and it recommended try this command here. I did that, more error, fed it back to ChatGBT, and it said, oh, okay, I see what's going on. I think you need to put in this command, right? And I've got a screenshot here, I can zoom in. This one didn't work because I didn't have permissions. And then so I, I told GBT I had an error. It said, oh, right, you need to elevate permissions with sudo. Try it again. And then that worked. Then I was able to run this command, and it worked. And you can see I put it in here, and here's the result. But when I tried to type in my poetry version, I ran into a problem. So again, here's more of my conversation in this back and forth. Uh, I, I gave the error message to ChatGPT. Here's what it said. It said, hey. It appears that poetry isn't successfully installed. However, the command isn't recognized in your current shell session. You know, here's some context. Why don't you try this command? And then why don't you save and reload your shell configuration with this command? So I tried these things. You can see it here. Uh, the, you know, the first part worked, but then the second part didn't seem to work. No such file or directory. So I put that issue into ChatGPT and keep the conversation going. There seems to be an issue in trying to reload your shell configuration file. Why don't we troubleshoot? Do an ls-a. And then let's edit the file with nano. So you type in the command, it pulls up nano, and you can edit the, the text file in your terminal. So my point is you can see the advice ChatGPT gave me and that I attempted. When it gave an error message, I fed it back in, and we just kept iterating, and we got to the finish line. All of my commands are in the blog. You can check them out. Here's that LSA. It's listing the files. Here's nano. You won't see this in the screenshot, but it pulled up that text editor.
and I was able to put some uh, text into the file. And at the end of the day, I got it working. So I'd encourage you to try the same. And if you have any questions, just let me know in a comment. All right, so once that's up and running and you have the new fabric and you have the new switch, you need to edit your ContextMD file. So it has uh, one sentence about give me all instructions in, in Spanish or something, some arbitrary text. And so what I've just done is I've gone into fabric installer client CLI ContextMD which I'm able to, without being in the terminal, I can just go into Visual Studio Code, open a file that is downloaded from GitHub, and edit that file. I put in my mission from my website. I've got three M1, M2, and M3 elements to the mission. And then our next step is to copy that file from this file path into where a pattern is going to check for that file, which is in... Um, the .config fabric folder, all right? So step one, check if you have the context switch with fabric-h, and I did that here, and there's the context file, which is good. Next step, copy from your, I'll zoom in a bit, copy from your CLI folder here, from the installer, to this hidden folder, config fabric. Now your MD file with the text you've added is in the right place and you can run a pattern. So I ran the AI pattern, uh, just like with the UL420 demo, and I put as the input the string, what strategy do you recommend for advancing my mission? And I put that through the uh, context switch turned on and the AI pattern, and it gave me three, you know, an intelligent response. It says, share your personal journey and stories to inspire, highlight GRC success stories, and demystify its concepts, and create simple, actionable cybersecurity guides for non-experts. So as you can see, I was able to get to the end zone. There was nothing really special or difficult in this task. It was just my being brand new to the terminal and not knowing basic commands and how to navigate around that uh, were barriers that were removed thanks to the, uh, the UL community. So thank you to them for that, and I want to pass it along to, to others. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.